Hi, this is Michael Moore reporting for Tech Week Europe down at InfoSec 2015 in London. I'm joined by Dave Palmer, who is the Director of Technology at Darktrace. Dave, thanks very much for joining us today. Oh, pleasure. Hi, Michael. So we're here down at day two with InfoSec. How's the show going for you so far? It's been excellent. Um, really enjoyed uh, seeing so many new people here. The vibe's been great. The energy here is great. The new venues, I think, really transforming how engaged and uh, available people are. And we're just meeting so many interesting people. Uh, yeah, we're having a great show. Great. Um, so Dark Trace is here showing off its enterprise immune system technology. Do you want to talk us through that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So the immune system idea is a bit like the, the immune systems we have in our own bodies, where uh, you need something that can learn what is unique about you and every part of you. So clearly we're made up of a complex range of different parts in our, in our bodies. And the same is true in our enterprises as well. So we have all sorts of types of people, loads of different technologies. And we feel that something that's been missing from security in the past is, as well as all the great protective stuff, there has never really been anything that good that lets you know, hey, something's changed, something's different uh, in a way that doesn't rely on rules or signatures, just learns what is unique about us and says, something's changed, that might be a problem, um, let's look into it. And that's the, what the immune system is all about. Learn about every person, every device, all the interactions between them and how data moves around and let you know where something's changed in a way that actually you might want to worry about. Okay, so it's a very personal way of looking at all of uh, your main devices then. And yeah, you've got quite an interesting way of uh, visualizing this as well. That's right. Well, um, something we thought very long and hard about was if you've got a system that's all about mathematics, advanced machine learning, probability theory, then there's very few customers out there that are going to say, hey, you know what? I've got a load of PhDs in mathematics or I want to learn about this stuff and spend a long time learning about it. So uh, we built this idea of Visualizer that draws 3D uh, stories, visual stories that show how data moves around, what people are actually doing with devices. Uh, there's loads of data there, there's loads of uh, insight into data as you'd get with any security system. But let's start with you know, top-down, intuitive stories that goes where you go, hey, I recognize that and I know who that is. Um, and the maths is carefully hidden away, so mm -hmm. you don't have to understand probability theory, you don't have to be typing equations in to get any value out of it. Um, and actually, uh, we found a lot of success, not just for uh, customers that are highly technical and security teams, but even HR teams coming in and saying, hey, I'm worried about Dave's behavior. I want to look into what he's being up to. No problem. Easy to use, easy to understand, and in, in language that the business operates on. Okay, great, interesting stuff. So, Dark Trace's company has grown quite a lot recently. Um, yeah. Any future plans for, for major growth? Um, uh, absolutely. So, uh, we've been going about two years. We announced in October 2013. We started with probably a team of about 30. Uh, we're already at over 100 people. We're around about 100 customers as well. We've opened in the US. We've had a presence in the US most of that time, but uh, hot off the press. We've just opened in Singapore. We've just opened in Tokyo this week, and we're going to start getting interested in the Japanese market. Uh, also just opened in Australia and New Zealand as well. And this trend is going to continue. We, we truly want to be a global company. We've already reached that point where there's never a dark trace employee that isn't awake somewhere. Um, and we've been lucky enough that lots of investors uh, think we're where we're going and our ideas are good ones too. So we're able to access a lot of capital and we're putting all of it into growth and marketing uh, because so many customers want this stuff and you know, frankly, we want to be with them, helping them out wherever they are in the world. Great, um, and in terms of the global security threat landscape, um, how do you see that evolving over the next couple of months, years? Are there any major trends that you guys are spotting that we should be aware of? Great question. So I think uh, something that we've been seeing a sharp increase in is the number of IT teams and security teams themselves that are being leveraged to do harm elsewhere in the enterprise. Mm. So um, I guess as security professionals, we have this idea that more than most people, we'd know if we'd been hacked. Um, our experience so far is maybe that's not the case. Most IT teams, most security teams are really busy. It only takes one typo, one wrong patch downloaded to actually get a foothold in the door and do uh, increasing amount of harm in the enterprise. So we're definitely seeing a sharp increase in that. I think a trend for the future, it's not really happening a lot at the moment, but we're seeing a lot of attacks where uh, all that is essentially happening is things like Wi-Fi keys and passwords are being um, taken out of the company, but there's not yet a follow-up. And my perspective on this is, it's the start of the ideas we've been hearing about 
where people do hacks in order to gain accesses that mm. are then resold to people that actually want to have an impact in your organization. Okay. So I think we'll see more activism uh, from, uh, from groups that traditionally aren't working in IT. You know, I could imagine this being uh, environmental groups, um, welfare groups, all sorts of groups that maybe don't like certain types of companies like oil companies mm. or energy companies, what have you. And I think those guys are going to see new problems from groups of uh, actors that they previously could say, these guys aren't going to do it digitally. They're going to put some uh, posters up outside. Well, I think it will be digital in future. Dave, thanks very much for your time. Interesting stuff. IP Michael Moore, reporting for Take Week Europe.